Well, I need some peace, man. I seriously need some peace. I'm physically, mentally tired, bro. I am so fucking tired of everything. Bro, has anybody noticed lately? Uh, I've been noticing a trend. Mm, I've been noticing a trend lately on YouTube, particularly with black YouTubers, all right? black YouTube content creators, people who people who use their free time to express their feelings, their subjective opinions, their views on the world and the things around them, which is what I do. But many black tube, black YouTube content creators that I've been noticing lately and that always seem to just be over my timeline for the suggestions is just mainly black men bashing black women and black women bashing black men. Black women bashing black men for, as they call it, swirling, interracial dating. And black men bashing black women for praising black women for swirling and interracial dating but then contradicting themselves by bashing the black men who do the same thing it's like these people have videos by the hundreds thousands hundreds thousands subscribers by the hundred thousands who follow and suck this shit all in people who follow someone like Cynthia G who I believe is a fucking agent. I'm just gonna keep it real. I believe Cynthia G is a fucking agent. Her voice is annoying too. But all I see is the warped minds, the warped minds of her faithful, her faithful followers, which is mainly mainly black women. But the way she warps the minds of these black women, you've got someone like also this this other Dunny, what's his name? Fucking Jackson, Derek Jackson, that's it. This guy, Derek Jackson, who, who just always, who's another guy, another black guy who does nothing but bashing black men. That's all he does. He just bashes black men because he knows pretty much like during this day and age that we're in right now, it's just like if you bash black men, then black women will pretty much have your back. Sort of a shit. Most black women, half black women, majority of black women. I don't fucking know and I don't even fucking care either. I told you, I'm fucking tired. But either way, he knows that whatever he, whatever content he puts out bashing out black men, most black women are going to fuck with him because right now they're at a stage where they don't fucking like black men either. Everybody's bashing black men. Everybody's bashing black women. You got someone like fucking Tommy Sotomayor who does the same fucking shit. You know what I mean? Does the same fucking shit. Never actually listened to any, any of thing from fucking to Tommy Sotomayor. Never fucked with Tommy Sotomayor. Always knew he was a fucking coon. You know what I mean? And it's like, on top of that, because I'm still not sure. I'm still asking this question, actually. I'm still asking this question. Like, I'm, on top of that, I'm still not sure while I will, if I missed the memo. Like, I'm not sure if I missed the memo while I was away on my Master Roshi Island somewhere in the middle of the Pacific somewhere. I'm not sure if I missed the memo on this 10 year challenge that everyone's doing on the Instagram right now. I'm tired bro. I woke up two days ago. I mean, I don't, I didn't wake up two days ago and I've been awake for two days. <laughs> I mean like, I woke up two days ago and I was on my Instagram and for just some reason my whole timeline was flooded with people doing a 10 year challenge. Not sure where the fuck it came from, not sure who the fuck started it, but everybody was just doing a 10 year challenge. I don't even have pictures from 10 years ago. I don't even, I don't have no pictures from when I was 21 years old. Like, I probably still look the fucking same, if anything I, I age backwards, so if anything, I look younger than what I did back then. Yeah. But this is all I'm seeing all over my timeline. Ten year challenge. And like sheep, we just can't fucking help ourselves, can we? Like, we just can't fucking help ourselves. We just have to do it. 
Why? Because five people, five people have done it. Oh, I have to do it now. I just have to do. It. I don't want to be the old one out. My homegirl called me Scrooge. What did she call me? Scrooge Mc, Scrooge Mc, Scrooge Mc Fudge or some some shit like that. Scrooge Mc Grinch or some shit like that. I said, eat chimpanzee ass, you dipshit. That's all I said to her, man. Like we always kind of go back and forth roasting each other anyway, man. But. I was like, I don't even give a fuck if people, if I even come across as like a Scrooge or a Mick Grinch or a Negative Nancy or any of these other fucking names that people would use for somebody who doesn't want to get involved in all of this fuck shit. And then on top of that, on top of that, man, I'm still out here arguing about fucking R. Kelly, bruv. Like, R man, I'm still out here arguing about R. Kelly. Man, I'm still out here posting videos about more shit that's coming out about our kid who gives a shit bro about we're still here posting we're still here being divided and conquered over by our opinions on this whole r kelly situation you know what i'm saying because it's like you're seeing people arguing and literally just like people are literally like they literally want to fucking kill each other in some of the comments like when i'm reading some of these comments people don't want to actually like this is what i'm saying when did we actually get past the point where you can't even you can't agree to disagree or disagree to agree now you can't even do that no more like just having your own view or opinion that differs from someone else makes you an enemy makes you a hater makes you dipshit fuck fuckhead uh, whatever sort of roasting words that people have nowadays in this new millennial generation that we're fucking with like you know what i'm saying because there's all of these new fucking words that's out here I don't, I don't know so i'm like where are we going where i'm tired bro like i'm fully tired and then on top of that On top of that, on my suggestions on YouTube also, for some reason, I don't even know why. I don't even know why I'm even getting them. I'm getting a whole bunch of try-on holes. If you don't know what try-on holes are, H-A-U-L-S, holes are, is a bunch of thick, chunky, fat-ass, big titty women trying on outfits mainly lingerie mainly bikini wear mainly super tight super short super skimpy gym shorts that flex out the camel toe and all of that shit this is what i'm seeing viewed by the millions by the millions subscribers by the hundreds of thousands some of them pushed over into the two three millions bro try on holes and as you know about me i read the fucking comments it's what i do i read the comments pure dudes pure simps pure fuckheads pure thirsty dudes bro just pure dry mouth who's ever seen that movie clint eastwood movie Cause me and my dad, we joke about this shit a lot of the times as well. The good, the bad, and the ugly. When my man was left out on the desert, man, and he come back with like the, the dry, cracked lips and everything, thirsty for water and shit. That's what some of these dudes, not even some, that's what all of these dudes be like. <laughs> kind of like DJ Wackademics. Kind of like DJ Wackademics, who spent most of his time in the last, the last half of last year, fucking about with thoughts wifing thoughts and then trying to come with this sort of pimp energy when he's around these thoughts but then when real niggas stick you on him bro you're soft like you're you're soft boiled soft bro like because <laughs> bro look i'm fucking tired man i've already been in here for 10 minutes man jesus christ i wasn't even planning to be in there for that long man but I haven't posted the video for like a week. I just wanted to let that, that R. Kelly one just chill, let it marinate. And yeah, here I am again, man. I'll just, I'm, I'm fucking tired, bro, man. I'm tired, man. 
I'm gonna try and get a week off work, man. That's what I need right now. I need a week off work, man, because I'm fucking tired. I need time to get my head together. I need to try and get this fucking trip to Canada. That's what I need to do for my birthday in May, man. Trust me, man. But look, peace and love to everybody that's in it and that's watched this video. Like and subscribe. I think that's the first time I've ever actually told you guys to like and subscribe. I think that is actually. I can't even lie. But yeah, man. Like, subscribe to the video, people. This is your boy KMD. This is Run Radio, and I'm fucking tired, bro. Peace.